It's Mrs. B here. How are you doing? I wish to know. So today as a requested video and my students in my school wanted me to do cheer pom pom since they saw mine and they loved it very much. And here are the materials that we are going to use and you will find them also in the bottom description box if you wish to know. So first material, scissors, tape, masking tape, painter's tape, you may use whichever you like. Decorating tape or electric tape. Two plastic tablecloths. You could use um, black or any other color. I'm using black and orange for my pom-poms. Since my classroom is fourth orange, um, using orange and black. <laughs> okay, so all we need to do is take out one of them from the wrapper. We're going to put one to the side. We're going to open one. And we're going to open it just like so. It's very long. You're going to open it just once, just the way it comes. I'm going to lower this so you can see the process. Very easy. These, ask your parents for permission to use the scissors. This is kind of big scissors to use. So be very careful with them. So all we're going to do is that we're going to go to the ends of this tablecloth. And as you can see, there is one simple one, one, another simple one, and one folded. The folded parts, which are on this side and this side, you are going to cut through them straight down. I will come back to you once I have done that. Now that we have our ends cut up and there are four strips here one two three four we have four strips you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna fold that piece in half and you're gonna join the ends and you're gonna have now eight sheets over here you're gonna have one two three four five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna join those ends. Without leaving any space whatsoever. You wanna make them as even as possible. And where is where it is folded, right here, you are going to cut now we have our pieces cut and we have eight sheets, complete sheets. Now you're gonna take this corner, you're gonna also fold it again. And you're gonna do the same thing.
remember not to miss any sheets whatsoever so you could have all of this even so now you would have 16 sheets and we're gonna do this one last time one more time you're gonna reach it to the end make it very even enough and you're gonna cut once more this time it's thicker so it's pretty hard to cut And now we have loose sheets. Once we are done with this color, you may go and repeat the same steps we just did with the other color. I will return to you back with the other color done. Now that we have two piles done, we are going to take one from each one and make two piles. I will demonstrate for you. I'm taking one and one. This is if you want to do it of two different colors. And you try to put it together as you want it. But you're making two piles of these. You're making this pile which I will put to a side and then another pile for you to have two pom-poms I will come back once I am done sorting this out remember it's one 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 orange one black one orange one black for two piles once I am done I will come back now I have my two piles. Now that I have my, my two piles, I can start with one. You just fold this in half so it doesn't get loose. And you put it in a corner. So this, so you would have your space here to do this pom pom first. Now, you're gonna take some painter's tape or masking tape you're going to try to put this as together as possible it doesn't have to be perfect pom-poms are not perfect there are parts that will be up there are parts will be down that's the fun part of this project now you're going to take a big piece of tape measure it out Rip it. And you are going to tape the middle of this. It's like an eye view. You don't have to be that perfect. If you're not sure, be very gentle. I'm taking this off and you can go ahead once again and do the same process you are going to do the same process for both pom-poms now that we have our pom-pom on the table stuck to the table you're going to take your scissors and you are going to do strips on it the size you want it it doesn't have to be perfect and you're just gonna go slide down not cutting the tape but very close to it see you're gonna do strips like this You're going to keep on going 
on both sides. This pompon is very inexpensive. You can see them in stores for quite a pricey rate when you can actually get stuff for like 99 cents like the tablecloth, the plastic tablecloth and do it yourself. Obviously you could choose other harder materials if you don't want this kind of plastic tablecloth to do this. Remember we want to keep this very straight as possible. There are some pieces that are like out of place here. this kind of weird thing where I'm when I'm concentrating I bite my tongue for some reason <laughs> tell me if you notice it it's kind of weird sometimes people do notice it in videos that I bite my tongue it's very relaxing for me at the same time that it calms me You may want to choose to do this a complete strip or one more strip, maybe. So now you have most of your strips. Some of them came out thinner than others. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to take the other side and you're going to do the same thing. But this one you can do. Sorry about that. This one you could do the same thing. You can bend it over and start cutting. Remember strips in a pom-pom. are not perfect whatsoever if you want perfection this is not the kind of project you would want to do this is just a fun thing to do for field days or cheerleader, you could use it for cheerleading. It's if you want something very inexpensive, this is very inexpensive. It only costs you like three to five dollars, not more than that, to do this. If you already have scissors, um, some painter's tape or masking tape and electric tape or decoration tape you just need the plastic covers which both in the 99 cent store would come out as two dollars or one ninety eight to be exact i'm not a math teacher but i think that is the amount amount So 
I have an extra row here. So I am done with this pom pom for now. You just what you might want to do is try to grab it, just hold it while you're taking off the painter's tape. It should not move that much, though I did cut the tape a little bit. You can kind of fix them. You could throw this out or use it for the next one. Doesn't matter. Now you want to cut a piece of this tape, which is decoration tape. Or as it says, decorate and repair tape. Or you could use electric tape if you have some. If you don't have some, most of you girls and boys would have this at home. This is not only for girls. Boys could do this too. Especially those of you who are watching, most of them are my students. I salute you at this time of the night. <laughs> if some of you are watching, this is really late. It's being posted really, really late. So all you want to do is do this like fan style, like we what we do with paper, you just fold two in, one out. Two in, try to get everything, and one out. Try to hold it, you don't want to get that and make it go loose or something. This is kind of hard a bit. Two in, one out. And once again, two in. One out. And we have a situation here. Since I have an extra row, this would probably go out. You want to hold that as tight as possible. You could get help from a parent or so. It's kind of difficult here and you might want to get the tape and start wrapping it tightly without letting go You might want to use, I don't know, more tape. 
this kind of pom pom got got something wrong with it. Let me take off the tape here. I want to center that. So let me use the same tape I was using. I don't want a pom pom which has a side longer than the other. Like it. More centralized there. And this is what you're gonna end up with for now. You could use another tape to secure that. the same tape you already put there you just pull tighter on the tape you don't want to get none of the things stuck to it and that will be your, nor your normal pom pom for now. Um, once I am done with the other one, we will continue with the next process. So let me do the other one and I will come back to you. Now that we have our two pom poms up to here, all you, all you just left to do is one step only. You are going to take each piece and you are going to separate them to the side. You're going to keep on doing this until so you create a nice pom pom. Mine is a little bit big. The strips, you could do the strips as small as you want, as big as you want. You do it to your liking. But all you need to do is keep on folding it, taking one, pull it to the side, taking two, pull it to the side, and keep on doing this until you have a nice pom-pom. As you see, it's fluffing up already. We're going to keep on doing this. like so until you have a nice pom pom you do it on both sides on this end and this end and your pom pom is looking good I will return back to you when I have these done So this is how half of your pom pom is supposed to look. It's not finished, obviously. You can see. <laughs> and in this, in this case, this is like a long process. It could take like five minutes or more. If you're comfortable, you could start watching videos. Um, eat. Preferably, do not eat over this. This is kind of not a place to eat, but it could get wet. It's just that every single strand would be sticky in that case. But you keep on trying to split these as much as possible. Put one color to one side, the other color to another side. Try not to put too much of one color on one side because then you will have half a pom pom of one color and half a pom pom of the other color. We want to mix those colors up so it could look 
very different and vibrant at the same time. Some of these strips have come out kind of short. You can pull as much, but remember, this is plastic tablecloth. It might break if you pull too hard on it. I'm trying not to pull too hard on it. I'm separating it. You take one, you take the other, you pull it to a side. And if it doesn't work like that, you pull it to the other side. And you keep on going with this process. And this is a very long process, but fun at the same time. If you want to go ahead, make sleepovers, and do this with your friends, it's quite fun. I mean, you can have a chat with another person on the phone while using, I don't know, video call, Skype. This is actually inexpensive for cheerleaders to do when you have a field day and you don't have that much money. You go ahead with two dollars, buy two tablecloths, and do the same process we did from the beginning. And you will end up with a cheerleader pom-pom, like a replica of it, not Literally the thing, those things cost like $15 each, very very expensive. I was a cheerleader so I would know. Mine's cost 11 because it was only one color and it was golden. So it sparkled and everything and the plastic wasn't that different of this one, it was just a little bit since it was gold but other pom-poms that I usually had were this material and it's so easy to make but so expensive to get so I'm gonna keep on doing this here um, I'm relaxing I'm having a spry like I normally do when I'm doing these things, I tied my hair. It's very hot in here, <laughs> very. Um, plus I have the light which makes me visible in the night because my lamp in the living room is not that bright. Very good spread. <laughs> So, I'm going to leave you for a moment, and I will come back with the result of the two pom-poms done. As you can see, I'm almost finishing this one. Very, very, very big, <laughs> but very, very cool at the same time. So, I will come back with both pom-poms done. This is what the pom-poms will look like after you finish. I'll fluff them. You can grab them in the middle because it has the grab and it will be just like this. Remember you can do all types of sizes. If you want them longer, you make a lot of larger squares. If you like different colors, you can do different colors. This is all depending on you. I hope you like this video. Please comment on the comments box below and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please go subscribe to my channel and please watch these videos. You will definitely love it. Bye.